Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to jump on here this morning and do a really quick video um, concerning the addiction crisis we have in our country. Um, I was reading yesterday uh, about the nature of the addiction and the impact it is having on our families across this nation and I think about my own family when I when I speak of these things things that I was reading that you know when, uh, you know my kids addictions first started I had you know I, no idea um, I worried about you know maybe a drinking thing going on or something like that, but never did I think that one of my children would have an opioid addiction or heroin addiction. <laughs> um, you know, it's kind of crazy, and if I had known some of the symptoms back in those days, those early stages, I'm just wondering could we have put this to rest a long time ago instead of losing my only daughter. But I know I, I say that, but I have gained my other two boys back. Um, losing Ashley was a heartbreaking, devastating thing for me. And not just for me. Uh, it was for my boys as well. We sometimes uh, get lost in our own minds and, and what we, we want to satisfy ourselves. And when something like that slaps you in the face, it brings you back to reality really quick. And God did not mean for us to be living like that. And so he has brought my boys back to me and I could never in my wildest <laughs> prayers thought that would happen, but it did. And I, I'm so thankful to God. I, I just could fall on my face every day thanking God for that. Matter of fact, I do. Anyway, I'm going to share some of the uh, signs of drug abuse and give you also the crisis helpline. I will put that at the bottom of the screen. But here are just a few signs of, of drug abuse. Um, poor grooming or deceived clothes. Pale or cool skin. Tremors. Drowsiness and mood swings. And the drowsiness part, if they are drowsy in the middle of the day, which is not typical for them, that would be a, a eye opener for me. Um, irrational laughter. I remember that big time is the irrational laughter uh, that I used to hear all the time. Um, social is isolation. Um, or the person doesn't want to be around much of anyone unless they're doing what they're doing. Um, they want to stay away from, like, your par their parents or, or friends that are not into the drug scene. Um, have memory loss and hallucinations. If you or know someone that has any of this, I, 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 I suggest that you sit down and maybe carry on a conversation with them. Kind of talk to them and, and maybe even talk to them about trying to do a drug test. Um, you can also call the Crisis Helpline, which that number is 800-662-HELP. And uh, 
you can actually ask um, the person that answers, whoever that might be, some things that you may could do um, to get you as a parent on your way to helping a child sooner rather than later. Um, that's all I needed to tell you today. Um, yet again, that crisis helpline is 800-662-HELP. I want to thank you for hanging with me today, and I will see y'all on the next video.